All right, so this is Ian Thorpe, and here's my uh, my final video for this class, I guess, unless we do revision, but I don't know. Um, so last time you said that he looked um, too like stoic, or like too too solid. You said like he needed a a little more fat. And you also mentioned that this width here between his like mouth and chin area was a little uh, too thin um, or too too wide rather and you thought I should thin it out a little bit, elongate his face a little bit. Um, so I like took I took it in a little bit. I took it in more in the front here so that um, it kinda came out on his chin and got like a good Draw a line there. Um, I also kind of tried to build a little bit more fat here and like going into the cheeks a little bit and especially with the chin and like right out here it was too flat before I think and um, I need to turn this stuff off. Um, so yeah I tried to like build it a little bit more here um, but yeah, that's kind of, I, I tried to take care of a little bit with the fat a little bit. Uh, tried, I brought it, his chin down here a little bit too, kind of give it some weight at the bottom. But that's kind of all I did with that. Um, so after I did that, I also played with the nose a little bit. I was having a lot of trouble with the nose. I could, looking back and forth quickly, I could see that before it really wasn't matching up at all, but I think it's pretty close now. His I had his nose a lot like the nostrils a lot wider before and they came down a little bit too much here. But I kinda brought those in and flattened about. Um so do that and then I went in and I retopoed everything in Maya. I just brought it in and like redrew it. So I think you can see there how it looks. Um I did forget to attach the ears before I did that, so I think I'll just have to go back and do that, or I don't know, maybe just figure out a way to smooth them in. So I did that, and then I went and started doing some detail stuff, and um, you know, some like the wrinkly parts under the eyes, and I was trying to figure out what I could do here for like right under the eyes, but I think that's more of like a shading of his like skin tone. Um, I added this little like little weird dimple thing here. Um, you know, added to this, all the the lip cracks and wrinkles and such, and a little. Uh, I tried to do a little pore texture in here too. I think it came out all right. It's like a little, it's really subtle until you get up close to it. You know, I tried to get in here and do some of the uh, real crease type stuff. Give him, give him some little like blemishes up here, but I mean his face is pretty smooth, and all the facial hair kind of covers up for a lot. But uh, yeah, so and then I, of course, and then I went and did some fiber mesh stuff, and I did I had to go through a couple of different times. It's definitely something fairly new to me. Um. Uh, I definitely have an older version of ZBrush as well, so there's not as many tools, but uh, that was a lot of fun, and I think it just, you know, it ties it all together. I'll have to go back and do a little bit of extra hair stuff, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Let me see the wireframe again. Uh, it's, I don't know uh, what else you want, but yeah, so... Uh, there you go. Do one more once around. Use the front. And then turn. Let's see a bit of head on it. Yep. Alright, so I can do a perspective too. You know, I switched it a little bit, but it's a little much. I think this perspective helped a lot.
Yeah. Um. 